I'm Molly Grisham, and I want to help you experience light bulb moments. In the late 1970s, there was an airline that crashed. They were flying from Denver to Portland, and as they got ready to land in Portland, they set their landing gear to go down, and they heard a loud noise. They knew something wasn't right. And so they asked if they could circle the airport. Sure enough, they got permission for that. And so the crew, the three members of the crew, who all had more than 35,000 hours of flight time, sought out to figure out what's going on here, what's the problem. And so for some time, they looked at everything in the plane, they tried to figure it out. They finally thought they had it sorted out, and they got ready to land. But six miles before the airport, they crashed, and there were 10 fatalities on that uh, flight. But what was interesting about it was they didn't crash because the landing gear was bad. They crashed because they ran out of gas. Now, how is that possible? How could an experienced crew actually run out of gas? And the problem was at that time, there was a really strong hierarchy in the airline industry, that if you were the pilot, you were in charge and nobody questioned you. No one asked anything of you. No one asked for clarification. They just assumed the pilot had it all figured out. So the reason that they ran out of gas is everyone assumed the pilot was paying attention to that. It would seem like it was disrespectful to say, hey, pilot, do we have enough gas to land this plane? And so no one even posed that question. And so after that crash and some other crashes, the airline industry decided to implement what's called crew resource management, which basically says we're a team as we fly this plane. And so anyone in the cockpit can ask the pilot questions, can ask for confirmation, can say, I have a concern about this. This is a great example of what a healthy culture looks like, that we want to be in a place where people can ask questions, where there's that psychological safety and someone can say, I don't think we're doing this our very best. Can we try this again? Healthy leaders are gonna embrace this mindset of a crew resource management environment where everyone is invited to fly the plane safely and land the plane safely, and it doesn't just fall on the leader's shoulders to make that happen.